Yeah, what's going on guys? It's T-Mac here and welcome to a, another league racing video. Today is a new league. It's not an ACRL this time. It's VSC. It's one of Australia's top leagues. I'm not going to be expecting to fight for, for very many good results in this league. we got the likes of former race clutch driver or development driver Ryan Bell. We've got new up-and-comers like Caden McIntyre. we got Frosty. we got a lot of fast drivers in this league. And, and this race was an absolute banger. So be sure to watch the last lap because there's an absolute drama that happens. But yeah, I'm going to be talking a little bit less uh, as voiceover in this video as well. So you get more of my you know, live emotions as to what ha what's happening. Although I was pretty locked in for most of this race. So <laughs> maybe maybe I will be talking over a lot. I haven't actually recorded the both voiceover yet. So <laughs> maybe, I'm, maybe I'm just going to be yapping the whole time. But you never know. But yeah, make sure these are, these are all recorded live on Twitch twitch.tv slash bigtmac underscore so make sure you check that out and yeah let's get straight into how, how this race went uh, the main character uh, is me and, me and Trin right? you are not the main no. character what no, do you mean I'm not? Location. Trin is Don't also not the main me. character the main, uh, the main character is the, the main character is Ryan Bell he's third in the world in Miami Ryan, <laughs> Ryan Bell is the um, the cameo Fuck, I didn't save that Yo, setup. What is the racetrack though? Like, I'm serious. Soft medium, I'm pretty sure. Soft medium? Uh, bro, are you sure? You what, do you know? what do you know? Yeah, that why now? do you know? Uh, just vibe, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's probably not soft medium. <laughs> no, I, I, I low key agree though. No, I it's not agree. soft medium, bro. But see, what do you have to lose, man? I'm saying, like, it's really that simple. <laughs> Yo, what are you. We've got the aura, man. People are gonna <laughs> just let you go anyway. The whole, the whole lobby gets chills when I join. <laughs> yeah, just think about it. Oh, my God. Oh, Mr. Apex by a lot. But, how am I fifth? How is that fifth? They don't give a fuck about Bruh, me. Bro, that lap was terrible. How is that fifth? Probably P8 or P9 now. Yeah, P9 already. But, uh, Webzy with a point three. It's rapid. I feel like I can get- I feel like I can- I feel like I could get- Jesus Christ. Uh, the best what we did was only 20, 26 is- 26 5, 20, oh, oh, 26 5 my best, oh, oh. It was, it was. Oh, 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 no. I'm serious. Oh, oh. You don't believe me? No, I, he did a 25 5, I saw it. Yeah, invalid. Oh, oh, but that changed the dynamic a yeah, little bit. Yeah, you gained a second, bro, going outside the white line. Yeah. Like half an inch. Well, everyone's on laps and I'm 10th, so it's actually not even that bad. Look, he did. Oh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say we're rivals. Yeah, t -Mac, you're not even <laughs> That racing. one Brazil race, I remember. Don't, don't, t -Mac, one more thing. I always watch your stream, right? And then you say, oh, oh, you. I'm in the leading pack, but it's like. DRS stream from 1st to 12th. Yeah. Leading, leading, pack's not, lead, leading pack's not real. You've got to be top 4 at least. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, but... You, but, can't but say, you can't say you're in the leading pack when you're 12. But I haven't... But on this game, I've done like three... I've done four league races. One, I've when I crashed. The rest, I've got podiums because I've been in the in the top four the whole time. Every time I, wa I watch your stream... And on you say, this oh, game, you're capping. Pack. You're capping on this I'm game. Off stream. On this game, you're capping. Straight away, I turn it off. On this game, you're capping... I mean, it's early. Yeah, yeah, like, that's I mean, no. I, I mean, and time trial is breaking way early. Yeah, in, like, in way more. Uh, the last corner, I'm breaking like 20 meters later. Like, genuinely, yeah, like, I'm breaking in almost. In time trial, you gotta. Wait, what was that? <laughs> bro, we just talked over each yeah, other. Yeah, and then we both stopped, bro. What was that? And then there was silence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're back for our last quality lap here. No, but for real, our PBs are 25.7. I forgot what our first time was. It was like a 26.3 or 26.2. Not so great. We're in P12 right now. We want to get a top 10 to start the lap as we come through on the on the final lap of qualifying. We break about the 100 ball for turn one, hook it in. We actually hit the apex all right there, but you can cut that turn one curve a little bit, and we did not there. But we do all right through this turn two and three section. A bit... Uh, uh, sketchy on the throttle there, but it's all right. This corner, last game, it was a bit of a lift. This game, it's full flat. And this corner, too. I actually did a little bit of a lift off just to get it hooked up for this long sweeping left hander that I never break for right, except just kidding, I broke for it right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're two tenths two up. Man. I don't. Oh, we're three tenths, three and a half tenths up on t uh, tenth karma there. You know, we're looking up for a, for a decent lap now. But this long ass straight boy. So we come, we got, we're just trying to tr got to try and find our break breaking point for this uh, middle sector. We're, we're running quite high rings as we break. Jesus, what's happening in my voice right now? We break off. We break about the hundred there. 
Yeah, we have quite high wings, so we get to hook this up pretty well as we come through one of the hardest corners of the track. I think I double jab it there, but I actually hit both apexes really well. And then I miss the apex slightly there. Don't hook that up. That oh, corner, if you miss the apex, it just takes an age to uh, actually turn your car through that corner. But it's all right. We're up three, three and a bit tenths here as we come uh, to the, the final apex corner. We've got to try and find our breaking point. It's a little bit before the hundred here. I break a little bit too late. <laughs> oh, hello. That was a bit of a rear end lock up. And we've, we went from about oh, four really tenths annoying. up. Lost we've lost about a tenth there. Ear-rest of the line. Where do we go? 26-2. So why did I say 26-2? It was a 26-0. But, uh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we're in the we're in the top ten. So, well, P9 right now. Uh, yeah, but I, I, we just wait for the last few uh, few drivers to come across the line. Look, I th at, before qualifying, I said, I said, let's get a top ten. That would be good. My PB was a 25 Seven, okay. so we could have we could have no, got into a top seven, but you know what? You know it's not the end of the world. I think we do we does bags beat his lap time here? Yes, he does. So we, we qualify P10, top half of the grid. Uh, out qualified my teammate who is the race one winner and Frosty there. So it's it's a pretty decent qualifying performance heading to the race. Okay, I don't know what strategy we do though. This is teammate. Why do you wash your? Um... <coughs> Why are you wash your sector time? Because I just lost so much time, bro. Yeah. In the last I sector, I, I lost like two tenths minimum, and then even probably more because I had time it the last. It is understandable point. if like you qualify a full second. No, I was just showing how bad I was. I was showing. I was just showing how bad I was. Do you lose fuel here? No idea. Fuck. Dimek, what what tire do I start? I don't know. <laughs> Right here, as the lights are going out for the Miami Grand Prix round two of VSC, we're off and we get a little bit of a better start than both Lemon Gus and Yusuf in front of us. We actually try and make it three wide and we realize that was a bad idea, so we end up going AI. And then Yusuf goes AI here and darts off to the right. Why do you put what the fuck? Yeah, uh, so that gives us P9 for free, uh, which is very nice. We see Lemon and Bags right in front of us here as we just try and keep it calm. We've already gained one spot. Uh, keep it calm through lap one. Stick with the pack. Uh, you know, on this game, the, the AI, oh, not the AI, the uh, the ERS is is super easy to maintain. So as long as you have a full tank, you'll you'll, you'll you'll be able to stay in the main pack, which is the which is the important thing. Yeah, and at this point, me 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 uh, and both the kicks, who I'm in a voice call with, uh, we both realise that we have absolutely no straight line speed and we are cooked. Uh, oh, but mainly the kicks. Somehow the kicks had worse straight line speed than me. Um, but yeah, we're just on lap one here. And look at the checkup. Look at the checkup. I'm coasting through here. Bag's definitely got a wound there. Look at that. It's, no. That's crazy. Bro, the but uh, yeah, the, the, the game important game. Point, point at this race is to just stick. Just stick front with, uh, front stick with the front guys. Front stick, stick with the front pack. But oh, we also let our teammate through because that guy was cooking. He's very quick in the race. Uh, so basically, oh my, and then I, and then I almost hit him, and then I almost hit him, but it's all right, as long as we keep the, the guys on the hards behind, and, uh, we'll actually keep everyone behind, if, if we stay in the top 10, that's going to be a pretty successful debut for me in this, in this one of the best leagues in Australia. Oh, they're stacking up, I'll get the RS anyway. Oh my god, I got a penalty, I got a penalty. That's bullshit. Oh my god. Oh my god, Webzy has damage, or someone has damage up here. It's, uh, Reese. Thing. What car is racing? Alcatari. Oh. oh yeah, it must be. There's a big gap there now. Yeah, it must be. Well, they're battling they're like they're crash. like fucking full wide. They're gonna crash. Yeah, and as you can see there, the, the guys in front of me are battling like crazy. The the, the top uh top three or four are just completely or even five now are completely out of the out of this little pack so we've lost the main pack which is uh unfortunate for us but we're still fighting for some really good points here as you can see checkered flag and bags fighting so hard there were three white in front of us in turn one there uh checkered flag started on the softs he's going soft and medium some soft medium or soft hard something two stopping i'm not even sure but yeah his tires were dead at this point frosty gets by bags it's huge for, for the Haas boys huge for huge for the championship uh, then Frosty's going to immediately try and uh, capitalize on Checkered Flag, although he doesn't, as we skip to the end of lap four here. As Frosty goes on the back straight, 
Although, the, I mean, there's a couple. I don't even know what, what straight this is. But it, Pofosi goes down the inside and even bags. He tries to have a look down the inside and takes advantage of checkered flags as a, a very worn soft. There's only like four and the softs are completely dead. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can see a little wib, wiggle out of the last corner as well. So so Frosty's clear. We're, we're going to be uh, just trying to follow Frosty. Frosty has, has some super pace, but he qualified 13th. So he has to try and fight his way through the field. Uh, if there's any chance of us catching the, the top six... Or the, yeah, the top six. Uh, it's 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 through Frosty leading us all the way back. But you can see how how much pace we have over Checker Flag already on lap five here. Look at him, just understeering all the way through. His tyres must be absolutely dead. Oversteer. I mean, sorry, not oversteer. Understeer. Well, yeah, understeer and then into oversteer everywhere. We just try and set this corner up. We have a, a lot of juice left, uh, but presumably so does everyone at this point. We try and get the slipstream. We're very close. Look. Checker Flag doesn't really have much of a slipstream on, on bags here, but we have a massive slipstream on him. We look to the outside a little bit, and then I just commit to the inside here. Break late. Oh God, Don't get given a lot of room by Checker Flag, but he gives enough room, so we return the fla favor, and we, we make contact a few times here, but I, I know I have the inside for this little kink, and I power through in front of him, which is big for the race. I do not want to be stuck behind him if he's on those worn, uh, soft tires. And yeah, it's all aboard the Frosty train at this point. What well, high do we go to? Uh -huh. Softs, I'm... I think. Yeah, it's gotta oh be softs. We're on 13. I'm on 12% after five laps. Alright, I just broke at the 150 and then let off it by accident. I panic. Just do whatever they do. Don't be like. Oh, well, we're leading, leading though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, Potsy and, uh, and Ryan Bell, are they in this scenario? Yeah, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> Alrighty, as we come on to lap eight here on the back straight, we've got we're still in the DRS train of uh, Frosty here, but Plebs uses a lot of his juice. I'm actually out of ERS, and he tries to go around the outside. I have the inside for this uh, this tight corner, but then we go around the, the big right hander in the middle sector. And Plebs does have to lead, but he spins, and he spins, and, and there was big contact. He's lost a lot of his wing there. That's unfortunate, but I think I, I had the confidence to try and uh, push ahead of him into the into the chicane. But yeah, it's really tough for him. But that actually really hurts us now. We are web no bags no almost out of Websy's uh, DRS range, and I've got no juice, so I can't keep up with bags juices, and, and that's exactly what happened at the end of the next lap, lap nine. Now, I'm out of I'm out of the DRS range, and uh, the the Williams behind. Look how close he is now. He's gonna easily get me here. I fully lost the the, the pack in front because of my uh, my battling with plebs, unfortunately. Uh, and, and yeah, I'm down in the tenth place, and not even not even in the pack fighting for for sixth anymore. The top five are clear, sixth, seventh, eighth are clear, and now it's just uh, a little bit of a fighting pack from uh, from ninth down to twelfth here in the middle sector. So it's very important as I have a little bit of a wobble there as well. So it's very important for me to stick with these guys as we uh, sort of reach the end of the stint there. But my teammate. My teammate has crashed out of the race here and causes a safety car a pretty good range to pit onto the hards for the rest of the race, although hards aren't a, aren't a great tire here. But yeah, uh, safety car comes out, gives us a bit of a break, gets us back into the pack as well as we come to the end of, uh, of, of lap 10 here and we do pit for the hards. There's a lot of teams that are ahead of me double stacking the, the well, Kizai and, and Ryan Bell in the, in the kicks. They're going to have to double stack. I think Webzy had uh, wing damage. So we're going to jump out ahead of him. I'm, I don't know what happened there. As you can see, the RB is also double stacking. So remember, we came into the pits ninth. We came into the pits ninth. Where will we leave? We jump Ryan Bell. We jump the RB. We jump uh, Webzy. And we're into sixth place. That's something where I didn't expect to be. Uh, so yeah, safety car restart. We're going to the hearts for the end of the race in sixth place. I was from that whole fuck up where I got pushed in the yeah. wall and then I um I was driving really bad got... at the end there. I had to go straight oh, on the chicken. Uh oh. A certain kid has left the session. Oh, he's just gonna eat I knew that was gonna happen oh. with the stutters, because that's what Trin had in China and ACRL. Right, uh boss is. Join back, join back, join back. Oh yeah, hang on me. Let me invite, let me invite. Oh, wait, did he wait, is he, he's not talking though, his his internet might have gone fully out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, oh, no, no, dude. Back. I don't know what the fuck. Like, nothing I, even no, I can't I invite you. No, you gotta be on the game. I on my, bro, I was on my phone. Like, nothing even dropped out. I just randomly DC. Someone's added me as a friend, bro. I don't <laughs> but Tell me when you're in the game, Potsy. I can invite you. I sent you on... Oh, Potsy. I'm on the game. My game didn't crash. Oh. All it did was kick me out of the session. Oh, what? So you get the my invites? Well, that's the race leader, Kizza, in the kick. He's not in the race at the moment. He does have an invite. He's gonna come back soon. Uh, but we're going to start this restart in P6, lap 13, or lap 12 going into lap 13. 
As we go, Potsy's AI leads us off. But again, it's an AI. It's, he's going to be very slow compared to everyone. Um, the Williams in front of us just doesn't use any ERS. And we, we, we do. And we go straight past him after the line. So we're already up into fifth on this restart. Potsy, or Kizza, sorry, does have a... Uh, still not in the session. He has a, has a red X above him. So even though we've lost a little bit of time with that overtake, we should still catch right back up at this little bit. But yeah, the, the AI is he's menacing Reese Fisher right now. Oh my god. Reese is stuck behind him. As I go down the inside of Bags here, I, well, I thought about going down the inside of, uh, of Reese Fisher as well, but that would have just been dangerous. Uh, full tank of ERS. We're in fourth now. We've gained two spots off the safety car restart. Uh, we, we, you know, we're going to deplete the whole tank because pretty much everyone else is. Kizzer's back in the session. Reese Fisher goes, tries to make a look down his inside. Now he goes, now, now he goes yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but uh, Reese Fisher didn't overtake. I actually break a bit early to let Bags go. Bags out breaks himself. I'm going to go round the outside here. This is where Plev spun a few laps ago, but I don't get the move done this time, and I stick behind, and uh, yeah, well, I hit him. I absolutely, I absolutely smacked him there. Whoopsie. Um, that's all right. Uh, we we did lose a little bit of time. Holy We're shit, actually I'm already out of the out of Reese Fisher's oh, yeah, ERS, go, but we should be able to get that back in a little bit. As uh, Karma, he was like eighth on the restart, and he's already into fifth. I just let him go honestly because because he he's very quick. And, and if Bags has lost a DRS, which I don't think he has, Karma's just gonna get back because those hards are terrible compared to the mediums. The mediums are absolutely rapid. As we skip to lap uh, a little bit later into lap 14, and, and yeah, Bags pretty much just lets Karma go as well. DRS open, Bags I don't think has it. No, he doesn't. And yeah, Karma's already into fourth. What a what a nice little safety car restart. It was very important for him as well because those tires will die. But little Sheldon. Sheldon retires, and another safety car comes out on lap 14. Yeah, just pit right here. Uh, Potsy. Oh, I yeah, Potsy can pit. I'm not pitting because I'm going to stack with him. I'm going to the back. I'm going in. Fuck it. I should have pit with you there. Fuck. Right, you should have spit. You should have... I told you guys, you should have just spit. No, pit. we're going to the... It's going to... Because how many... in the same position if I pitted last Because Blicky, Blicky pit, but he pit on the other last safety car, so he's on mediums, but they'll be a bit older, so they'll die earlier. But like checkered flag, plebs and fury, you'll and be, you and you, you two will be, will be you're gonna be so quick because karma was so rapid on that restart. Like yep, and uh, what you just saw there was a bit of pit strategy between the kicks. Thirteen laps to go, the mediums will last very easily till the end of the race, and they decide to risk it. The hard, I, I, honestly, I should have done the same thing. The hards were terrible, and the mediums were very quick, as karma proved in the last restart. As we get going on lap seventeen, bags slept a little bit on the restart there. I pretty much had to had to push him along to give him a bit of a bit of a bit of a go along. Uh, but we start, and this restart is a little bit more calm. I don't get a move off the line, <laughs> unfortunately. But we, we, we're in fifth now because of because uh, Kizza's pit. Ryan Bell also pit. So there's a few guys at the back of the pack on the mediums. They will have to get through the field. That Ultimately, that's why I didn't pit. I typically, especially when I don't have a f oh maybe the raw pace, I uh, as some of these other guys, I, I just want to get track position. If things happen behind me, that's not my problem. I don't have to deal with it. So yeah, that was my thinking there, as why why I stayed out. Karma's tires, he pit on lap like ten or eleven. I can't remember. I think it was lap ten the safety car came out the first one. So his his tires are going to be pretty dead by the end of the race. Uh, but for now, he's gonna he's gonna be one of the quickest in the in the in this top little group. As yeah, Karma's already into second off that restart. He started he restarted third. He's already passed Reese Fisher and Cade McIntyre. He's been leading most of this race here. Uh, he's gonna Karma's gonna try and get him next while the mediums are still. Uh, Still the advantageous tire here. Lap 17. So we still got we still got 12 laps to go after this lap. Uh, as we head down. Yeah, this lap's been a bit more calm. Uh, there's Lemon behind us. There's there's Websey on the hards. And uh, yeah, pretty much everyone is, is on the hards behind us as well. Well, for the time being. As we come in. I Something with this race, I just couldn't get this last corner right. As Lemon has a bit of a... You know, sort of red arrow and gets a much better exit. I look. I just lost like two tenths on bags there. Uh, Lemon Gus behind. He's uh, he uses his juice. I kind of just let him through as well. He he's pretty quick. I mean, all of these guys in the main pack are, are quick or pretty quick. Uh, and if they want to get past, uh, I'll let them. Uh, at this rate, I don't think I have the pace here at Miami. So if I can just stick with the DRS on these guys, it's going it's going to be all right. As we go into lap 19 here, Websey's also very quick, and he he got kind of got caught up with the with the I think wing damage and the, and the first safety car pit stop. So I don't mind letting him go either. And to be fair, I'm almost the second behind bags. Um, so I don't mind letting him go, especially with uh, with Checkered Flag and, and Yusuf out of the DRS range, although Checkered is on fairly new mediums. So he could catch us, he could catch us very quick. And we get our, our warning here. I think that's our second warning of the race. 
Uh, I didn't show the first one, but yeah, it's, that's pretty that's oh, pretty shit. big. And yeah, checkered flag is a little bit behind us here. He's 1.3 behind, but he, crucially, he doesn't have DRS. And uh, when that happens, you know, if someone's close behind, they can they can overtake. They can overtake you, and, and you'll just fall down the order. So uh, I, I found it pretty important not to try and battle the guys that were passing me so I could stick with the RS of them and, and not lose too much time to the guys behind it. It's clearly worked because Yusuf and Ryan Bell... I mean, Ryan Bell, three laps ago, was in dead last pretty... I think he was pretty dead last at the restart. He does have a three-second penalty, though. And there's Kizza as well. Both kicks who pit under the safety car are now eighth and ninth. Two seconds behind me, or a little bit more now. They were battling quite hard to get through the pack. But they're going to be the next ones to overtake. And as you see here, I wasn't really juicing down this straight. It's three wide in front. And there's been contact with Lemon and Bags. And I go straight by Bags. But that's lost me a little bit of time. Uh, I, I'm now 1.3 seconds behind. So I had to kind of lock in for this this middle sector. And, I mean, they're battling. They're going to be slow. I absolutely sent it uh, as much as I could with two warnings over there. And I kept DR a DRS on the, on the pack in front. And crucially, Bags doesn't have the DRS. Uh, there, but we skip down now to lap 21. This is a bit of a more scarce moment of the race. I did have DRS, but again, because uh, everyone in front of me is juicing and has more slipstream, I was over one second behind. Ryan Bell goes through there, and Potsy, he's on uh, like five lap or six lap old medium, so uh, I just wanted to save juice again. I didn't really want to hold him up and didn't want to hold myself up and potentially lose the lose the DRS, but or even. And, and, and well, hopefully not get checked a flag into the DRS, but he's already within within a second on me here. And on the exit of this corner to the back straight, something's happened here with Webzy and Lemon. I have no idea what's happened, but they've can't come together. Let's also slow down checkered flag a little bit on the exit. And uh, I get a bit excited, obviously, there. I'm in P6 genuinely here. And uh, moving on to lap 23 as well. Uh, we are... We are almost out of DRS here, and it's in a very important moment because the top two are on hards, and they're just quicker than me. Oh, this track on pure pace is way quicker. The next three are on mediums. Karma in third is on a little bit of older mediums, so I should be eventually quicker than him. But I've got to stay in the pack to even have a chance of passing him, to be fair. Um, and I'm over a second down. I need to have a good corner here. And Kizza, thankfully, goes a little bit wide. He kind of botches up his exit. Somehow I'm in second gear, so I didn't have that good of a corner either. But I barely snuck in to the DRS there on lap 23, which was huge. If I if I don't get DRS there, I'll fall back into the pack behind potentially. Um, and that DRS here was was huge. I'm out of juice, uh, out of DRS even. I need to, I still need to have a big middle sector here as well, being over a second behind into the braking zone. I have a decent left hand hairpin there, decent right hand corner, and I need to still have a pretty good chicane to catch up to uh, to Kizza and Ryan Bell here, and, and, and we do, so again, we, we, we end up sticking uh, in the DRS for the whole lap 23, uh, yeah, I, I think it's pretty clear, I'm, I'm definitely not up to the pace of the top five, whether it be tie advantage or just outright pace, yep, and then we move on to lap 26 here, uh, you know, we're, we're, we've actually managed to keep up with the pack. Karma on those tyres, uh, his mediums are going to start dying very soon. Reese Fisher has a three-second penalty, that's huge. The pack behind were battling so hard, so it's definitely sixth at the very worst for us here, which is big. That's huge on debut here. As Karma and Reese Fisher, at this point, in the race, I, th I thought Reese Fisher had damage because uh, I'm not, I can't remember what happened, but yeah, Potsy and Ryan, well, Kizzer and Ryan Bell are in second and third now on those on the fresh meds. They're well, not fresh meds anymore, but they're still probably the quicker race tyre. Um... Karma is a few laps older on the mediums, and he's definitely probably not as good as the hards right now. So this was a huge turning point in the race, with uh, with Cade being as quick as he is on in the lead in the clean air, and then the two medium runners who pit under the second safety car behind. They were able to actually get away here out of the DRS of 4th, 5th, and 6th. So this is an important time in the race to try and... Um, Maybe see if we can catch back up. We've only got two and a half laps to go. As Reese Fisher goes on down the inside, and so do I on Karma. And this, this was big because uh, this was more than just DRS just DRS training and DRS passing. I knew that Karma's tyres weren't as good, so it was very important to try and stick ahead of him until the end of the race. Uh, Reese Fisher, not so much. I, I wasn't sure if he had damage at this point, but I knew he was still very quick and, and was able to get me in the DRS. Uh, well, he was actually earlier in the race. Uh, pretty much able to get me. So I knew if I was going to be... Any chance of... Uh, any chance of trying to keep up with the top three. I kind of had to stick behind Reese here. I do go for a bit of a move down the inside, but I actually don't I pull out. I just think going side by side there would have been not very helpful for our race. And as well as that, Reese Fisher has a three second penalty. So at this rate, I'm finishing, uh, I'm finishing third, uh, sorry, fourth the uh, in, in theory here. As uh, we, we do have another bad exit, but we keep Karma behind, heading on to lap 28. 
As we go through Sector 1, our tires are definitely starting to feel it, but it's not nowhere near as bad as Karma's. He'd be struggling on every single exit compared to us, so as I said before, if I if, if he passes me, it's pretty much done. I, I might even, you know, I, I definitely don't want to finish, finish behind him. That would be a few points wasted, but yeah, I'm very happy that I'm in uh, or, or six, uh, or, or fifth right now, actually. Three relatively going on for P4. He has Bl Blicky also retired. I'm not sure what happened to him, but uh, that's very unfortunate. As we go, we don't have much juice, but I'm worried about Karma behind passing us, so I've actually used a little bit of ERS here. And I actually stick it down the inside of Reese Fisher. No, I don't. I have a little look. I don't fully stick it down. Karma goes for a massive switchback. We're pretty much three wide here. I couldn't quite get Reese there on uh, the the breaking zone. We stick behind him for one more time, heading almost onto the last lap now. We get we, we, we were very close to him, so I, and we have we don't have much juice to be honest. But I thought let's just get ahead of him. He's got a three second penalty. If I can just try and just save as much juice as I can from this DRS zone to the next DRS zone, I can maybe not let Karma through with his uh, with his tire disadvantage. So I thought, well, let's just be in P4 for now. Into the last corner, onto the last lap. Reese Fisher is behind, and he's very close to me. He might be able to actually pass me here, but I think he wants the DRS, and I think I do as well. I'm, I'm in no ERS mode. I'm using deploying absolutely none. Reese Fisher doesn't want to pass me. That's when I realized maybe I can hold these guys up just a little bit to get even more ERS. Uh, because at this rate, Ryan Bell has a three-second penalty, but he's already going to be out of the range. We're going to be battling hard. But. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to get a podium at this point as we come through the first sector. Yeah, I'm not. I'm very. I'm taking this very easy. I've already lost a couple tenths of those medium guys in the first sector. But what that meant is I have a full tank to use down this straight. I don't care if Reese Fisher passes me. He's a three-second penalty. We're going to finish ahead of him regardless as long as we don't crash. So I'm, gonna, I'm just using all my juice now to try and keep Karma behind. But Karma on those mediums, I think he struggled a little bit in Sector 1. So he's way behind me. So my plan worked. My plan worked to perfection right there. As we we just got to be careful here. Reese Fisher in to fourth. Me in fifth. And the leaders are battling very hard right now. In fact, they're battling so hard. I come around the chicane and look what I see. It's Kay McIntyre and Kizza. They go through almost three wide through that little section. And Kizza has no ER, uh, ERS or DRS here. He's got no straight line speed. Uh, <laughs> and no battery. So we're going to be... This is the last lap of the race, by the way. They go three wide. I come through. I pass Kizza. Reese Fisher has a three-second penalty. So if I can keep it in this position, I get third. I go down, dive down on the inside of Reese here, though, just to defend from Karma. And I come out of the corner. This is my worst corner on the track. And oh, dear, I almost crashed Reese Fisher. I have to cut to the inside here. Hurts my exit. Here comes Kizza. And I beat him for P3. And I get a podium on debut. <laughs> <laughs> I get excited there. What a what a what a debut for me. I'm only 1.1 seconds behind Ryan Bell with that penalty. Cade uh, on track gets or, 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 or in the results gets second. I get third by 39 milliseconds of Potsy in fourth. Very unlucky that he got caught up there. Um, and uh, yeah, P3 on debut. It actually got promoted to a P2 as Ryan Bell got a penalty for trying to avoid a double stack under that first safety car. Uh, I think he got, I can't remember how much he got, but he got penalized pretty hard for it. So we actually ended up getting P2 on our debut here, which was a brilliant first result. I had, did not have the pace. I, I qualified 10th. I just stayed out of trouble. Everyone else was battling and crashing, even up to that last lap. Um, and I knew once I, I just had to keep it clean. That's all. That was my goal. Just keep it clean. Uh, and I, and, and yeah, it just all fell into me there. I was very lucky, but at the same time. Everyone else kind of threw their own race, so I, I I was just last man standing and managed to get P3 right here. But yeah, it, it was promoted to a P2, so I was very happy with that. Uh, but yeah, that one uh, sums it up for this video here. We we missed out on the win by it. Why it was I think half a second in the end from uh, from Cade. Yeah, uh, what a performance on my debut in, in a new league and in one of the fastest leagues in OCE. So yeah, that was it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, be sure to stick around for a little bit as we have a podium interview and uh, and other outtakes for this video. Hope you enjoy that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, in here at the moment, we do have our third place man, so That's I'll let me. you take it away That's with uh, Big T Mac, Wayne. The Big T Mac, mate. First time I've, I've uh, interviewed yourself. What a race! Um, tell me, mate, from a, a Twitch star like you, 
uh, what's it like to be racing in VSC? And uh, I think this is your first race in VSC uh, for uh, of all time. But what's it, what's it like to be back in in league racing and away from the open lobby? Oh, dude, it's so much better than open lobbies. Well, actually, tonight was a bit of an open lobby if you look at it a certain way. But <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> one for one on podiums. I don't know how I've, I don't, I, I lucked into that so hard. I don't, I don't know what the hell is going on, to be honest. Uh, but it was, it was, it was good. I, I just took my chances and, and I just got lucky in the end. So, yeah. Yeah, mate. Uh, luck has, has fallen into, into your lap for, for this race, but um, not all luck, mate. You're in there at the, at the right time. And how good are the battery battles in this race? I'm in this game. <laughs> I, I didn't like it because I kept. I was on zero the whole time. Like I was. Put, I was just using all of it at all time. I had no straight line speed, so I, I hated it. But it helped me to catch everyone else. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Congratulations, mate. Well done. Uh, any questions there uh, for the big team? Uh, well, I'll uh, I'll lead us on to to what uh, next week's looking like. So, uh, Team Echo, we got uh, heading off to uh, the Dutch circuit of the Netherlands uh, next week. Our first ever time. We're also running uh, what is called a Super Bowl event, so full qualifying and uh, some points available in there as well. Are you done some experience in the open lobby scene at, at the Netherlands? Is it, a, is it a track you like on this game? Prefer it on the old game? How you how you feeling for it? Uh, historically, I've always been okay at at, at Zandvoort. On doesn't matter how the driving is or, or any game i've been all right every single game so i'm looking forward to it uh but yeah i don't know this grid's fast so <laughs> i don't know we'll see that nah, well uh yeah glad to hear some uh, confidence with you mate but that's that was pretty much all from me i saw i didn't see much of you but uh definitely a uh, good job grabbing a podium and congrats for getting a well debut debut race and getting on the podium here yeah, thank you one for one we'll make it two for two next week <laughs> Well done. Uh, that was awkward. Uh, pleasure to have you in the in the construction. Congratulations on your P3. Uh, Cade McIntyre, P2. That was awkward. What the fuck did I make that joke? That was so bad. That was so bad.